In this video, I'll show you how to automatically send WhatsApp messages to new Zoho lead. So the idea here is every time a new lead is created into the Zoho CRM, I want to automatically send a WhatsApp message to the same lead without doing anything manually. Yes, it is possible. And for sending the WhatsApp messages, I'm going to use Interact application, which is an official API of WhatsApp via which you can also start sending the WhatsApp messages. So if you also want to automate your WhatsApp messaging process, Process, come with me and I'll show you that how you can set this automation for yourself step by step. So this is my Zoho CRM dashboard and I want as soon as a new lead is created here, I want to automatically send a WhatsApp message and for sending the WhatsApp message, I am going to use this interact application and to create this automation, firstly, I'll have to connect to my Zoho CRM and interact application and I am going to do that with the help of Pabli Connect. Well, it is an amazing integration and automation software by which you can easily connect to multiple applications and automate your task and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link into my description box. Now, if you are a new user of Pabli Connect, you will have to sign up for free where you will also get free tasks every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation. Well, I'm already an existing user of Pabli Connect. So that is why I have clicked on sign in. Then I have clicked on access now. And this is how you can also reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Okay. Now, after reaching here, you will have to click on this dashboard. You will have to click on this create workflow button and simply provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. So I am going to paste the name as when new lead is added in Zoho CRM. Okay, it should be in Zoho CRM send WhatsApp message via interact. And as I have told you, I am going to send the WhatsApp messages using interact application. Now click on create and after that you will find two boxes in front of you. These are actually trigger and action. So trigger means when this happens action means means do this. Whenever this happens, do this. Understand with an example also, whenever a sale happens in a payment gateway application, let's say send an email via Gmail application. And here, according to our use case, whenever a new lead is added into Zoho CRM application, automatically send a message via interact application. Okay, so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation. And here we are building an automation in Zoho CRM and interact. So that is why as a first app application as in trigger application, I have selected the Zoho CRM and I want that whenever a new module entry is made. Okay. And that too instantly whenever uh, you can even read here triggers when a new entry is created into the specific model and into the specific module and here the module will be lead. Okay. So I'm going to connect to Zoho CRM with the Pabli connect so that firstly we can capture the module data, basically the lead data into the Pabli connect and then we are going to send the same data to different application or to the interact application. Okay. Currently I am actually working in the Zoho.com domain. So I am going to copy and paste the same here. Now click on save and you will see how uh, it will ask you the permission since I am already logged in into my Zoho CRM account. Okay. So I have simply clicked on accept and here you will see the authorization is successful and the Zoho CRM account is connected with Pabli Connect. Now now it is asking for the module name. Well, in this particular automation, I want that whenever a new lead is created into Zoho CRM, the automation should trigger. Basically, I want to send the WhatsApp messages. Okay, so I have clicked on that button and here you can see it is waiting for the response. Okay, so once you have clicked over the save and send test request button, do a test submission or record in that application in order to capture the response here. So basically, it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means making of a new lead into the Zoho CRM. So I am going to create a dummy lead right in front of you by filling out my web form. And here you will see the same lead data will be captured via Pabli Connect. All right. So this is my Zoho CRM dashboard here. I am going to click on this settings tab and here I am going to open the web form, which I have already created. Okay. So this is my web form and basically I have created a contact form and assume that I have added this form on my website and from this particular form, people can contact me, contact my team. Okay. And I want as soon as someone is going to fill this form, the lead will be created into Zoho 
CRM and after that a message a WhatsApp message should be sent automatically okay so here the form is already created I am going to directly copy the code of this particular form then I am going to open my notepad I'll be pasting the same code here and then I am going to save this particular thing into my notepad with the HTML okay dot HTML okay so that I can submit this form into the web browser okay so I am providing this web form one name okay clicking on save and now I am going to open this particular form right in front of you okay so this is the form web form which I am going to open right in front of you and then I am going to contact I am going to submit this form basically assume that a customer is actually filling out this form and trying to contact to our team alright so I have filled this form using some dummy details so assume that the name of the person is dummy the last name is user here we have the email address here I have added right now I have added just a dummy number but don't worry I'm going to replace this number with my genuine whatsapp number at the time of sending the whatsapp message okay the company name is ABC and the customer is actually sharing this particular query that I have signed up okay I have signed up into the software but unable to create workflows can you please help okay now I am going to click on the submit button and you will see how the lead will be created into our Zoho CRM and after that the same data will be captured via public connect well here you can see the response is received already and if I'll show you the details here I have the same email address here I have the company name which I have provided at the time of form submission all right let us check for other details as well so here we have that description basically the query which the customer has shared with us where is the name of the person all right so here we have the first name the full name and I am also looking for that number because I want to send the whatsapp messages on the whatsapp number okay so here we have that dummy whatsapp number and why I have provided the number into this particular format I'll show I'll show you later but here I would like to recommend you that whenever you want to send the whatsapp messages to your customers make sure that you capture the number the whatsapp number into this particular format now the presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation offer integration is working absolutely fine which was connecting pably connect and zoho crm and capturing the lead data into the pably connect now i am going to send the whatsapp message to the same person who have just contacted us and as I have told you for sending the whatsapp messages I am going to use this interact application which is an official API of whatsapp now I'll have to connect to interact with the pably connect just like I have connected zoho crm with pably connect okay click on add a new connection and for the connection it is asking you the secret key well here I am going to directly log in into directly clicking on this particular hyperlink because I am already logged in into my interact application and you can also reach here and create your account into the interact application all right so i have reached here and here you can see the secret secret key has been provided i'm going to copy and here exactly i am going to paste but currently i'm not going with the new connection i'll use the existing connection because i have already made the connections earlier but if you are building the connection for the first time it is compulsory for you to go with the add new connection only and provide that secret key okay once you will create the connection for the first time then you can also go with the existing connection okay clicking on save and this is how the interact will be connected with pably connect now it is asking for the few details so i'll be telling you everything one by one so firstly it is asking for the phone number and here you can see it is asking for the phone number at two places and here it is asking for the country code separately okay so why so let me take you to the note section here a note has been provided it is mandatory to give a value for either phone number or for both phone number and the country code so assume that the number you have received from your customer consists of the country code as well as the phone number that will be considered as the full phone number but just in case if you have only received the phone number not the country code in that case you will have to provide the number into 
these particular fields okay so this is basically the either and or case okay so if you have the full phone number basically the country code and the phone number you will have to provide the number into this particular field but just in case if you do not have the country code you simply have the phone number you will have to provide the phone number here and then you can additionally individually add the country code here okay well currently in my case i have the full phone number okay as i have told you earlier that make sure when you capture the phone number from your people from your customers clearly mention into your help text that provide the whatsapp number along with the country code okay so that is why i have intentionally captured the number into this particular format only and now i am going to fill the same number into this particular field for which i don't need to manually copy this number and paste it here i am going to map it and mapping is very simple in pably connect simply click on this particular field and here you need to search for that specific number okay so where is that number all right so i have mapped this number now what is this mapping all about and why i have mapped this data okay so whatever the data you are going to map here will be automatically replaced when this automation will work in real time okay so assume that in the second time the second user has submitted the form so what will happen this number will be replaced by the number of that second user so that is why i have specifically mapped this data but just in case if i will add this data manually the data data will remain same okay so that is why mapping plays an important role in this automation okay now it is asking for the template code and the language code okay so before i provide the code firstly let me tell you what is this template so whenever you want to send a message to your customer to your people with the help of official whatsapp api you will have to firstly create a message template submit it for the approval and once it is approved then only you you can use that template for sending the messages okay i am going to directly take you to the library basically the message template library of my interact okay so here you can see from the left hand side left hand sidebar you will find the template section i hope it is visible to you everything is visible to you okay i have maximized it and in the first section you will find some pre defined message template which has been provided by the interact only and in this active section you will Will find some templates which are created by me okay and here you can see i have created several templates some of them are approved basically the templates marked with the green color are the approved one the templates marked with the red color are the rejected one and the templates marked with the yellow color are the pending one okay so here you can see few of the templates are even got rejected okay so firstly i have created this template by clicking on this green button provide provided the name provided the language and then provided my message which i would like to send okay so if you're not sure how you can create a template let me show you my template so that you can get a basic idea that from where exactly you can create your message okay so i am going to search for the new lead because the name of my template is new lead only and here you can see this is the name of my template i have selected english as the language and header is optional and in this particular case i have not included any header text but it is completely up to you just in case if you want to attach any text any image any video any document into your header it is completely up to you and this is the message section basically the body content from where you can compose your message okay i have created this particular message let me read that hello thank you for reaching out to us we are excited to hear from you and learn more about how we can help our team will be in touch with you shortly to schedule a call and discuss your needs in further detail please let us know if you have any questions or concerns in the meantime okay so i have created this kind of message but it is completely up to you that what message you would like to send to your people you can add that message content accordingly and now you must be thinking that what is this number packed with the curly braces so this is called as the variable okay so whatever the values you want to keep on changing or 
automatically you will have to specify those values those details into the form of variable and how you can add that variable well when you are going to create your message template you will find a button of add variable here exactly currently i am into the view mode basically my template is approved that is why those options are not visible currently but don't worry in the editing mode you will find all the details okay and it is completely up to you that how many variables you would like to add into your message template so in this particular case i just want that this name should be changed automatically it should be dynamically changed okay as soon as the customer is going to fill that form the name of the customer should appear here automatically and this is how this single message can be used for sending the messages to all the customers to all the form submitter i have used these two variables okay asking for the footer and button again these are the optional thing but just in case if you want to add it is completely up to you okay now i am going to copy the code copy the code of the template which you can find from the url and you do not have to include this ending and the starting slash okay coming back to public connect and here i am going to paste the template code name now it is asking for the language code so code for english will be the en the code for english us will be the en us okay so in this particular template i have used the english as language so that is why i am going to add the code as en only now it is asking for the header value well i have not included any header into my message template so that is why i am going to leave this particular field bank now it is asking for the body variable values the most interesting part of this interact of this automation okay so basically from here exactly we are going to provide that what values should appear in place of these variable and we just need to provide those values separated by a comma okay here you can even read the instructions so let's say if you have two variables this is how by separating the comma you will have to provide the value and again instead of providing the name manually i am going to map it and how mapping can be performed simply click on this particular field and you will find the data here let me search for the name and here i have the full name of the person simply put a comma and second variable is all about the company name well the company name will be the same so i can directly write it manually because there is no problem if the company name will be the same every time okay now it is asking for the position of cta and the dynamic url cta button well i have not included any button so again i am going to leave these two fields also blank finally i'll be clicking on this button and you will see how the message will arrived but before that i'll have to change this dummy number with my personal whatsapp number all right so i have provided my genuine whatsapp number clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response well the response is re received let me check for the status well message queued for sending okay so let me go back to my whatsapp web and here you can see the message is arrived as soon as i have clicked on that button okay so hello dummy user thank you for reaching out to us we are excited to hear from you and learn more about how we can help here you can see that variable that name has been replaced automatically basically at the time of form filling i have provided the same name okay a team will be in touch with you shortly to schedule a call and discuss your needs in further detail please let us know if you have any questions or concerns in the meantime regards family team okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to fill this particular form he or she will automatically receive a thank you message or any kind of whatsapp message from from your end okay and for that you just need to create this automation inside public connect once and after that you can simply close public connect and sit back and relax because public connect will take care of all the task in the back end just in case if you want to access this automation in your public connect account i will also attach the shareable link of my workflow into my description box simply click on this and sign up for free into the public connect and the same workflow will be cloned into your public connect account on that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com 
my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video